All right, my Buhai squad. I'm about to drop a huge bomb on you guys. Mm -hmm. We're here at Cardemar Pet Market because, right, RJ? We're about to buy something. Hello. Hello. That might shock you. Hello. My boy squad. We're here to buy this beautiful one here. Yes. Uh huh. This is gonna be crazy. Just kidding. <laughs> you crazy? We can't take one of these in yet. Look at how beautiful this bird is, though. Oh. Yes, hi. This is an umbrella cockatoo. Loves to be cuddled. A lot of work. Mm -hmm. They look sad. They look sad. Are they sad? Well, they don't have toys. Oh. Oh. These are much older, though. Like I can see in their eyes. See how gray their eyes are. Wow. Oh wow, look at that pair of eclectus down there. Oh, you're the one making all that noise. Guys, this is an eclectus parrot. The females are red, the males are green. You see? Like that. Hi guys. Oh. Yeah. So the real reason we're here is I need to buy cuddle bone uh, for Legaya uh, to provide her uh, calcium and also to help trim her beak. But RJ, we have been talking about getting another bird in the future, right? Possibly. When yeah. we have a bigger space. When we have a bigger space, correct. And um, possibly might even adopt. Just to keep Legaya company, you know what I mean? So she could also bond with another parrot, which I think will be very beneficial to her. Especially because in the event that we get asked to um, have a project outside of the Philippines, Legaya will still have a companion to play with, you know what I mean? She won't get depressed, uh, which is my main concern. And it's actually a growing concern because all of a sudden, like I said a couple of vlogs ago, we're getting a lot of inquiries for work, for different events outside of the country. Um, in US, other places, in Asia, in Canada even. So the need to really make sure Legaya is ready emotionally and her environment is ready uh, to support her while I'm gone. That has to all be said. Wow, we're looking at this cage. This is a nice cage. And look, it's got these bars so she could climb up the side easier. And see even the top. Interesting. Oh, look at this sun conure. You're so cute. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're just so scared. You want to bond with somebody. I know. Oh, wow. See this, guys? This is a hands macaw. They're the smallest macaw species. They're tiny and they're so cute. OMG guys, this cockatoo is so old. Oh, you're so adorable, you. Wow, you're so gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Look at your wings. Oh my God. I've always dreamed of having an umbrella cockatoo like you. Mm-hmm. Yes, I know. Are you are you free flighted? Oh no, they clipped your wings. Oh, that's a beautiful bird. Can I pet you? Oh yeah. See cockatoos? These are the real cuddle bugs. They love to be stroked. They love to be cuddled. For five hours a day, they need to be like cuddled and nurtured and loved like this meaning you've got to do your house chores with this bird like cuddling with you you understand you got to go about your day with this bird cuddling with you you can't ignore this need to cuddle 
This is cockatoos are they really need contact like this. Otherwise they get depressed and they feather plug. So sad. I hope to one day adopt a cockatoo. Um, you know when we have the aviary. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I would love for you to meet Ligaya. Mm -hmm. Look at your beautiful, beautiful crest. These birds have gorgeous, gorgeous crests. See that? Yes. Mm -hmm. that is umbrella cockatoo. Can I hug you again? I hope you go to a loving home. I don't want to leave. I hope you go to a loving home. Mm -hmm. She's a lot bigger than Ligaya. Like, she's massive. Not, not macaw size, but still quite large. Oh my, look at your tail. Wow. Wow, wow. Oh, she's showing off. See, her, her primaries are clipped. She's, she's not a free flighted bird. Oh, poor you. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those wings! Amazing! There you go. Step, step down. Step down. Good bird. Such sweetheart. The sad reality is a lot of these birds end up in shelters because people end up realizing after they buy them how much of a commitment and time investment these birds are. You know, they're like children, really. That's why I really hope to adopt. Oh my, this one's displaying his crest. What a beautiful crest you have. Oh. You're all the way down here, you poor bird. No toy. We got tons of lovebirds, African lovebirds here. Um, cockatiels up there. See that budger guard? Awesome. OMG, gotta, gotta step away from those birds. I love parrots so much. Um, and when I get home, I also gotta shower just in case those birds are carrying any kind of disease. OMG, look at this cage, guys. Wow, it even has the guard so it can catch all the mess. Amazing. RJ, are you thinking of getting this for Ligaya? I think when we get the new place, I don't know, it looks smaller than her current cage, but functionally it seems better, because look, it even has the horizontal bars, which will make it easier for Ligaya to climb, like in this top part, wow, oh look, you can even open it at the top, oh wow. Okay, interesting. Oh, wow, okay, so then you can attach that up there. What a well thought out cage. Amazing. Oh, man. Oh, and look at how big the door is, too. Oh, this is a nice cage. What do you guys think, Mobile High Squad? Hmm. Should we do a cage change? And like, it does seem like this is really built for a parrot. The Lagaya's cage is built more for like kittens and like ferrets. But this is definitely a parrot, parrot's cage. I mean like with the guard and even the quality of the bars. It's built for a parrot. I don't know, what do you think? OMG, RJ's really considering getting this cage. Functionally, I think it is a better cage for the Gaia. Yeah, yeah. We find we find her current cage makes it hard for her to climb the bars, but this is totally good for the Gaia. And even though it's not as um, tall as her current cage, it has this rounded top area so in fact 
This space is probably the same, if not more, than her current cage. Fancy pigeons. Oh, pigeons are cute too. I would like to get a pigeon. That's my favorite song. Remember? Oh yeah, skyline pigeon. <laughs> pigeon keeping is a very big hobby here in the Philippines. A lot of people keep them because they're not so expensive to keep and they're generally lower maintenance. Oh, look at these kitties. Your eyes are so cute. Oh, I love cats. They're little hamsters. Oh, my snake would love to eat them though. Oh, look at these guinea pigs. So cute. And bunnies. Oh, I just want to squeeze them and squish them. RJ, can we have bunnies at our Mabuhay Squad farm? Yeah. And then what? We eat them? No. But what if there's an apocalypse and we need meat? The bunnies would be the first to go, maybe. Guys, here at like an aquarium store, we're taking pictures. What's your name? Webster. All right. Because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Yes. <laughs> okay. yes thank thank, you. thank you. you. Thank you. All right. I love this store. Look at, they've got tons of amazing fish. You got gourami here. You see that? Beautiful fish. Lots of plants. I've bought a lot of stuff here. Mostly for my fish tank and Ants Canada as well. The videos. Look at that beautiful moss landscape. Oh, gorgeous. Even empty, it just looks gorgeous. If I were to have this, I would put a few shrimp in there. Beautiful. Love it. RJ is clearly having a fantastic time here at the store. <laughs> RJ just loves animals. Look at how gorgeous and calming that looks. Like, see that? Imagine having that on your work desk. Like whenever you're just stressed from work, you just look at this and it's like, it, it resets you. It's a beautiful reset button. So nice. Wow, look at these crystal shrimp. <gasps> They're gorgeous, look at them. Beautiful shrimp, wow. Look at the size of these fish, wow. Oh man, is that koi? They're massive carp, unreal. By the way, the Mabuhay Squad Farm is planning our pond as well. Mm -hmm. We will have a koi pond. We'll have several ponds and fountains um, that we have planned around the property. Really, really nice. Look at that. Massive. We got discus. Oh, gorgeous. Amazing. Arowana. Bettas. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, look at these black tip sharks. Now, RJ and I have been talking about possibly getting a saltwater tank, a massive one, for the new home. Not too sure if I'm ready to delve into saltwater aquatics. But I was considering getting one of these sharks. Now the thing is, I visited several countries now and have seen these sharks in the wild. And it's just not the same seeing them in a confined space like this. Like, remember when we saw black tips in um, Sri Lanka earlier this year? I've also seen them in Palau, um, which is a shark sanctuary. And I don't know, it just feels so wrong to keep sharks in a confined space like this. Like these sharks are specialized at feeding, you know, around the reefs, around the coral. And like, see, they're just kind of circling in the same area. It's very sad. Wow, imagine giving one of the ant colonies this setup. <gasps> Whoa, the Fire Nation would love this. Uh, The Gaia. Hi. <laughs> oh, she's shaking. She's excited. Apparently they shake and they quiver when they're excited. Hi, did you miss me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone wants formula. Okay. Come, come, come. Oh. Apparently the Gaia's quiet. Jane and Judith are around babysitting. But as soon as I step in, she becomes noisy. Yes. Starts to beg. <laughs> Formula. But she, but she ate gulai, diba? Right? 
She ate vegetables. Good, good, good. <laughs> the guy is having her formula. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, sorry. Yes. Mm. Yes. It's good that you're perching on ATLC. Mm -hmm. Good things come when you are with ATLC. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This is it. All right, now I'm gonna fill her stomach with tea. Slowly decreasing the amount of stuff that she gets in her stomach. Slowly decreasing the formula. And Ate Elsie says she eats her veggies during the while we were gone, so that was good. Here. Yes, tea. We love tea. Chamomile. <laughs> Let me feel your crop. Yes. Mm hmm. Healthy, relaxing, nutritious tea. There you go. She's full now. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. See? I think this is great. So, also bought her uh, parrot seed mix. Um, wow, like a bunch of seeds in here and even like dried hot peppers, dried fruits like banana, um, huge nuts like this. Wow, look at that. Amazing. Um, sunflower seeds and some grains as well. Awesome seeds like this I've never even seen before. Pumpkin seeds. It's really great. Only thing is I had to remove the peanuts. Because there's a risk with peanuts. Some parrot owners feed peanuts to their birds, but um, from my experience actually from way back in 2007 Peanuts tend to harbor myotoxins or alpha toxins, whatever they want to call it And it's from a fungus that grows on the shell of the peanuts So I just want to you know, I, I don't want to risk things. So I've, I've taken out all the peanuts from this mix mm -hmm. Um, but what an interesting mix it is. Wow, see like dried fruit like this. Um, not sure if she's ready to eat it, but I make it available. I'll make it available for her throughout the day and in her cage at night so she can feast on some seeds in the morning or, you know, if she needs a midnight snack or something. Oh, she's eating the pepper, the hot pepper. Wow. Yes, our bird loves spice. Mm-hmm. Like daughter, like father. <laughs> Back to eating veggies, but now that she saw I pulled the camera out, she's like, are you gonna feed me? <laughs> I think she's well on the road to being weaned. No! OMG guys, I just freaked out. <gasps> I was touching the, the cockatoo at Cardamar, and I completely forgot to shower before touching the Gaia and feeding her. <gasps> So we're showering now. Oh my gosh, the guy, don't get sick. Is this me just overreacting again? I don't know. Perhaps. Okay, I promised I would not be the paranoid parent, right? I don't want to be a paranoid parent. I don't want to be a helicopter parent. You know, the parents that are hovering around all the time. I don't want to be overprotective, okay? I want to be more like my dad than my mom. Just chill, everything's okay, everything will be fine. Gotta coach myself. But we need to shower. Yes, let's shower. Just in case. No sink. Shower, shower, shower. Shower, shower, shower. Shower, shower. Shower, shower, shower. Yes, just in case. Just in case. You don't want you to have like lethal parrot diseases. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Oh my gosh. My mind. What's going on in my mind? Yes, bird. Shower. Shower. You shower. Shower, my dragon. Shower. Shower, 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 my dragon. Get clean, your silver scale, my silver dragon. Got toothpaste on my face. Good morning. <laughs>
affirmation of the month. Say it with me, guys. Come on. Let life hear you say it out loud. Life supports us with all we need and more. Yes. Thank you, life. All right. Speaking of thanking life, we're about to thank life for this amazing day. She flew to me. I looked at the clock. Sure enough, it was 10 a.m. Do you have a biological clock built in you? How do you know? She lets me know when it's time for an outdoor walk. You remind me of my dogs. Yep, here. Yep, good girl. Mm-hmm. Helping me put it on. First wing. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to ruin her wings too much. I like seeing wings perfectly folded against the Second wing. Yes. All right. Good girl. Okay. Wow. She's like quite loud and vocal. Do this whistle. I like that one better. Done. She's so well behaved with this harness business. We're going out. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Here, on my shoulder. Good girl. All right. Now I tie this end to the string of my pants so that I got like free hands, you know what I mean? One of which will be vlogging, the other of which will be holding my coffee. <laughs> wait. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Just wait there. Okay, let's go. Let's go, you ready? We're about to soak up some sun. Wow! The sun right now, guys, is glorious. This is like beach sun, seriously. Oh, man, that is great. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Yes. We got friends down there saying good morning. I swear, this neighborhood, I feel like this is the Filipino version of like Beauty and the Beast, you know what I mean? Bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> Actually, in the case of Filipinos, it would be Como esta? Como esta? Como esta? Como esta? Como esta? Or Magandang umaga, magandang umaga. Okay, that's too long. <laughs> Sun is glorious today, this morning. Good call, guys, to go walking right now. Seriously. Speaking of beach, guys, so I recently learned that, you know, our farm, I can't believe it just rolls off our tongue our farm our farm happens to be 10 minutes away from a beach 10 minutes away as in like if I wanted I'm sure I we could walk there or let let's like gallop there with our horse you know what I'm saying the guy we're gonna go to a beach we're gonna live near a beach that is great OMG oh cuz talk about like dream come true I've always wanted a beach front property but then i figured do i really want to live right at the beach but if i'm close to the beach i'm good that's good too and it's so funny because rj is always so paranoid about like natural disasters wait let me cross this street so that i don't die yes hello hi there <laughs> she asked if i was mikey bustos sometimes i should just say no i just look like him <laughs> let me wedge my way sorry yeah Okay, RJ is always so afraid of like natural disasters. He'll be like, I don't want to live there because of earthquake. It's near the fault line. I don't want to live there because the volcano might erupt. I don't want to live there because tsunami. It's been a challenge finding a place that RJ approves. And it goes back to simply trusting in the well-being of the universe, of yourself, of life. Um, we did a Hollywood tour, right? back when we were in LA last year, you could see that vlog. And we toured, was it, not Hollywood Hills. There's like a place where all these celebrity mansions are literally like built on the side of a cliff. Like Ice T's house, you know what I'm saying? Is literally right on the side of a cliff. Katy Perry lives on a cliffside. So many live literally on the cliffside, all these houses. And, um, oops, you just pooed. Whoops, my bad. Oh, that's pee, okay. <laughs> I gotta wipe it after. Um, and the tour guide said that their philosophy is if you're not living on the edge, 
you're taking too much space <laughs> so funny but yeah i guess they just like trust like why live in fear right let's build a house on this cliffside because it's beautiful and has the most gorgeous view and i'm just gonna be happy that's it when we die we die you know what i'm saying oh but it's been so long since we've been to a beach um this christmas or new year's um rj and i and possibly others like the gang you know us uh might go to boracay uh which is basically what cancun is to north americans <laughs> it's like the main beach party i guess gorgeous tourist destination um and it recently closed down because it had to clean up ecological wise and like uh, they really needed to just shut down for a bit so that the island could recuperate and restructure um, and they've reopened so we might possibly spend uh, Christmas or New Year's there really excited and of course we're bringing the bird to that island too the guy are you looking forward to going to the beach it's been so long since we've been to a beach I mean so long as in like a few months so been daydreaming just because I love daydreaming it's the best um, about what animals to have on our farm now the animals will have a dual purpose guys one obviously pets <laughs> and two some of the animals have to be for consumption i'm sorry all of you vegans vegetarians all you pet lovers but i mean realistically the reason i'm also rooting for a farm is because i want to grow food including the meat that we eat so we're gonna have to kill chickens you know what i'm saying this just needs to be done chickens that we've raised i myself probably will not be able to kill the chicken we're gonna have help that will do that possibly maybe at the lc i don't know if she knows how to do that um bunnies i mean i don't know i'm so sorry i know this is such a touchy subject but growing up i was always okay eating things that i grew plants animals otherwise but this is what i've been thinking so for sure we're gonna have chickens which will be pets and will be for food perhaps i might grow closer to certain chickens and roosters and they will just be for breeding you know what i'm saying i do look forward to having goats same case some goats will have to be food and maybe those that i'm really close with will be pets i'm not sure looking into possibly getting a dog now that we have space one because i grew up around dogs and two because i find dogs are extremely good for security i mean a robber would go and rob the house without a dog before they would go rob the house with the dog you know what i'm saying especially a big dog so rj doesn't really like big dogs but he'll come around trust me i think we I, i've been looking into breeds i would love to get um a breed that is good for the farm that is good at rallying livestock you know like all those shepherd breeds um sheltie all of those like gotta look into all the shepherds and stuff um just so that we have a beast a guardian to like look over the land when i'm not looking we need a gargoyle you know what i'm saying of course we're getting koi because we will have a pond one of you guys recommended a peacock i've always dreamed of having peacocks perhaps what about flamingos <gasps> several people have recommended i get a monkey but we can't one because they're illegal to keep here in the philippines and two i don't think monkeys make good pets mm -hmm. but this parrot legaya here will be the boss of everyone mm -hmm. how about all you cat lovers out there huh now i love cats i never used to be a cat guy i was always a dog guy i'm like why would anyone want a cat dogs are so loyal cats are just kind of like the center of their own universes you know what i'm saying but then i was able to have two kittens which i oops eventually had to give away because things got really really busy a couple years ago um so had to rehome the kittens but i understand now why they are so cool guys for all you pro dog people who don't like cats trust me they're pretty awesome they're amazing like they're they're kind of like just wind up toys furniture that you just release into your place and they can just become part of the furniture seriously they take care of themselves for the most part 
Um, no, you don't gotta worry about housebreaking them. They're like automatically litter trained. Um, only thing is, with cats, you can't tell them not to go somewhere. They will hop everywhere, like literally jump from the floor to the top of your fridge. They're like acrobats, seriously. That was kind of weird. Uh, the fact that they're crawling in their litter box and then they're on, also on your countertop and table where you're eating. So like you really have to be clean, which goes for any animal anyways. But uh, not too sure if I would get cats only because I heard that cat saliva is toxic to parrots. So if she were to lick Ligaya here, Ligaya might die. You know what I'm saying? And we don't want that. Plus, cats tend to be predators. And we all know the cartoons where cats are chasing birds to eat. We don't want that. All right, Mabuhai squad. So there's something that um, I've kind of been struggling with that I really want to talk to you guys about. It's something really serious that's been on my mind that has been concerning me. Um, and as well has been concerning, well, those around me, RJ, you guys, some of you guys have uh, brought it up. And it's this, my boy squad, my current problem is, 